This is Black Adam is just weeks away and we just got the final trailer for the movie and I wasn't disappointed and just like always this trailer also packs many details and we will discuss them in detail so without destroying a 100 million dollar jet let's get started The trailer starts with this shot, a man is floating underwater and seems like he's dead. That's Black Adam. But he looks very weak as you can tell by looking at his body. That's probably because he's been sleeping for 5000 years. Also the origin of Black Adam has been changed in this movie from the comics. In this next shot we see this armed man trying to shoot Black Adam and you know it, I know it, what's gonna happen to them. This movie is gonna be very brutal as the director himself confirmed that they have pushed the limits of PG-13. These people who are trying to shoot up Black Adam are a part of a gang called the Intergang which also exists in the comics and has these flying motorcycles which they are riding are actually from Apocalypse. Well, in the comics they are but it might be changed in the movie so we may see some indirect connection to Darkseid or the events of Snyder Cut. Hashtag the Snyderverse. Here, Black Adam tells these goons that their magic is weak. Black Adam just woke up after 5000 years of hibernation and for him everything is new and he still thinks that magic is a normal work around here. Also the thing that he just woke up after 5000 years, the pain of his son's death is still fresh in him so he's angry and willing to destroy anything in his path. Let's move to the next shot. We see the JS headquarter which looks very similar to the Xavier school for gifted in the X-Men movies mostly because of the underground jet thing. Well, it looks awesome. If you are enjoying this video till now, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. In this shot, Black Adam literally destroys an F-15 aircraft, a 5th gen US Air Force fighter plane, so the US government will not be very happy with him in the movie. Who are they happy with anyways? Next, we hear the sound of Amanda Waller and seconds later we see her on the screen. I believe she is asking JSA to capture Black Adam so that she can go out on a coffee date with him. Well, it was nice to see DC finally doing some crossovers from other movies. In the next shot, we see the entire JSA with their full look, Hawkman, Dr. Fate, Isis, Cyclone and Atom Smasher. All trying to stop Black Adam but hey, it seems he's easily overpowering them. And finally, they have removed the piss effect, it looked bad in the first trailer and I'm grateful for that. And just moments later, we see Dr. Fate using his powers, don't you guys dare to compare him with Dr. Strange, both are different and Dr. Fate is better. And now the reveal of Big Daddy of the movie, the first thing that came to my mind was Satan then Trigon, but guess what, it's ducking Satan himself, all kneel before him. This movie is gonna be a great way for DC to end this year as all the others have been moved to next year so don't forget to watch this movie on the biggest screen possible. If I missed any other details, tell me now.